couldn't resist, could you? Excuse me? I don't appreciate you going to Sonny and telling him I took a boat ride with Jerry and the boys. That's not what happened. Excuse me. Just, you can't stand it. Admit it. You have a thing for Jerry, and as absurd as it is, you're jealous. You meet this guy named James Bronzman at Windermere, and he's sophisticated, and he's charming, and you're a sucker for an accent, and you got all hot and bothered. What the hell is wrong with you? Why do you keep saying that to me? I barely even know this man. He picked me up when I fell down in the woods. Oh, he's the knight in shining armor type. Must have been irresistible, huh? I didn't know his identity. But when you found out his identity, when you found out that he was the man who held us all here hostage, did you think he was just having a bad day? As usual, you're lost in Carly's world again. <sighs> If you think he's such a psycho rat job, why is it that you took both of your sons out on the boat with him? Because I was trying to soften him up so he will tell me where Jax is. And you, like some jealous schoolgirl, you went straight to Sonny and told him. I can't believe that I'm still being this slow to explain this to you. But I was showing him some pictures of Christina and Michael Morgan just happened to be in the picture with him. He wanted to know why they were at the park with him. So oh, you know why? Stop, oh, my stop, God, stop, stop, stop making this so complicated. My God, if you want, just ask Jerry. Really, I mean, just ask Jerry. Ask what? Alexis would like to go out with you. You'll have to forgive Carly. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Oh, you are about as subtle as a billboard. I'm sure Jerry isn't interested in any of your paranoid delusions. Oh, on the contrary, I'm quite entertained. Oh, uh, see, you were turned on by the mysterious Mr. Brosnan, and when you found out who he really was, you thought, wow, he must be a tortured soul who needs the right woman. I'm not even going to dignify that with a response. Because you know I'm right. You'll have to excuse Carly. She dwells in an alternate reality. Well, you see, my sister-in-law is a woman of very strong opinion. Which are figments of her wildly overactive imagination. What is your point? My point is, I don't want to talk to Jerry, but you do. So talk. Better yet, you know what you should do? You should ask her out. Stop embarrassing yourself. Just stop it. Stop it. No offense, but I have no interest in going out with you whatsoever. I'm a Cadet Bear called with a tip that the cops are going to be staking out our shipment. Good. Glad he's coming through for you. Do you have a problem with Coop? Look, well, yeah. the guy just had an attitude when he was working security for me at the Metro. Okay, that's fine, but he hasn't given me a reason to question his loyalty. I'm not sure I trust him. If you notice anything suspicious, let me know. Right. Sonny. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm just uh, discussing some business with the boss. Uh, you work for me? I just want to... No, but the thing is, see, Max, he, he's miserable standing around in your hotel lobby. If I don't give him an assignment every so often, he gets... He could lose his head. You're miserable working at the Metro Corps? No, no, not at all. It's just, it's, it's my privilege to work for but, you. But you're bored. Uh, when it's... You know what? Max is bored out of his skull. He's just too polite to say anything. That's, that's what's happening right now. So you've been doing work with Sonny behind my back? Because well, you feel like you can't be honest with me? Uh, Harley, if you have a problem, then maybe he can quit working for you. Wait, hell yes. Come back to me. I have a problem. He started working for me because he wanted to break free of his life with you. Oh, come on. That's not true. Is that true? Is the, no, no, and you keep pulling it back in. You know what? I've been there, done that. I know how it feels. And working for me may not be the most exciting job in the world, but it's a step towards a new life. Would you please tell him? Max hates working at the Metricorp, but the only reason he is is because he would jump through hoops of fire for okay, you. Are tell you really that bored, Max? Are you? Please. I, I would be more than happy to work for you as long as you want me to. Okay, he's just saying that because he's a loyal guy. And that's one of his finest qualities. And you're taking advantage of that. You don't feel bad about that? I would if I knew he was unhappy, but you're not unhappy, are you? No. I know working for me isn't as exciting as working for Sonny, but you, you really don't mind that, do you? It doesn't oh. matter. No, uh, you're a terrible liar, Max. Okay. I admit that it's very reassuring knowing that you were always taking care of him. I do like watching out for Mr. C. Then you should. You're the best bodyguard he's ever had. And he needs you. Fine. But if you ever get unhappy and you want to come back and work for me, you're more than welcome.
You do remember she's a married woman, right, Max? Yeah. Well, I know how much you must miss her, too. What in God's name is... That, that's a terrible waste of water. Turn it off. You blow up hotels, you hold people hostage, and you trade government secrets that could ruin third world countries, and you're concerned with water conservation? I'll spare you the details. Suffice it to say that I need enough countries where water is more precious than gold, and I learned not to waste. Turn it off. Good for you. Leave me alone. I'm tired and my feet hurt. Hey. In case you haven't noticed, we're in the middle of a draft. All extraneous use of water is subject to fine and imprisonment. I'm turning it off. Don't touch it. Put up with you holding me hostage. I protected you because you're Jax's brother. I lied for you even when you sent my husband God knows where to go looking for you. I'm done. I am so I'm, over it. I'm turning it off. I'm warning you, I'm, don't touch this. Oh, come picket. on. This is absurd. I, what the hell do you I'm that supposed for? to hit you telling me what to do. Stop, stop, stop. Give me that thing. Give me that thing. Get off of me. Get me off of me. Carly, I'm going to kill you. I'm in the next general hospital. I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were here. You are not infatuated with Jerry Jacks. Chase is going away for life, Sonny. I do have a proposition for you. You're giving us detention. Enjoy the night shift. What?